Hello everyone, have a nice day. Our lesson for today is for grade 7 mathematics. This lesson is all about set and introduction. So this is based on milk week number 1 which is lesson 1. And our objective for today is to illustrate well-defined sets and then name the elements of the set in two ways. We have the rule method and listing or roster method. And we're going to find the cardinality of set. Okay, so if you're ready, then let's watch this. Okay, so this is our first activity. So in this activity, you will going to group them as you see fit and label each group. Okay, so these are the following. Okay, ano-ano ba yung mga nakikita nyo? Paano natin sila igugrupo? Okay, ilang grupo kaya ang mabubuo natin? Okay, so let's see and observe kung ano-ano yung mga ito. Okay, you're going to list that in your piece of paper. Okay, how many groups are there? So, there are the group of, okay, we have numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, yan yung mga group ng numbers. And then, we also have the group of letters. Ano-ano yung mga yon? Those are A, B, C, D, E, and F. So, yun yung group ng letters. And we also have the group of colors. Yung green, red, orange, blue, violet, yellow, indigo. So, yun yung mga group ng colors. Okay. So, meron tayong tatlong na buong grupo. Yun yung mga group ng numbers, group ng letters, at group ng colors. Okay. The groups are called sets for as long as the objects in the group share a characteristic and are thus well defined. Okay? So, magiging set lang siya kapag well defined ang group. So, ibig sabihin, specific yung nakalagay doon or specific yung um, group natin. Okay. Sa so example, set of numbers is not well defined. Bakit? Kasi maraming numbers, maraming set ng numbers. Pwedeng 1 to 100 na numbers, pwedeng even numbers, pwedeng odd numbers. So this is not well defined. Um in this example, set of positive numbers less than 6. Okay, set of positive numbers less than 6 is well defined. Kasi pag sinabi nating positive numbers less than 6, Yun yung 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Okay, so next, let's have another example. This time, um, the group of letters. Okay, which is, we have A, B, C, D, and F. So, paano natin gagawing well-defined? Okay, if we have set of letters, anong letters yun? Letters in alphabet? Letters in the in the word Philippines. Okay, so this is not well defined. Okay, next, um, set of letters in an alphabet. Okay, okay. anong klaseng alphabet? Is it English alphabet? Um, Greek alphabet? O meron ding Filipino? Filipino alphabet. Okay, so this is not well defined. Okay. What if set of all letters before the letter G in an English alphabet? So, alam natin na all letters before G are A, B, C, D, E, F. So, therefore, this is well defined. Okay, next, we have the group of colors. So, paano natin mabibigyan ito ng set? Which is well-defined set. Okay, pag sinabi nating set of colors, anong colors yun? Colors ng ano? Okay, so malabo, hindi natin alam kung ano yung set of colors na yun. Kung ano yung mga elements na nandodon. Okay, how about the set of rainbow colors? Pag sinabi nating rainbow colors, alam natin na meron tayong seven colors. Those are red, orange, 
green, blue, violet, yellow, and indigo. So therefore, set of rainbow colors is well defined. Okay, ngayon alam mo na kung paano i-identify ang well-defined set. Okay, na dapat na yung object mo is um, mayroong common characteristics, yung mga element. Okay, so a set is a well-defined group of objects called elements that share a common characteristic. So that is set. Okay, ngayon naman pag-aaralan natin kung ano yung symbol na ginagamit sa set. Okay, pag-aaralan din natin kung ano yung elements, kung paano sinusulat yung elements and the cardinality. So, ano-ano ba yung mga ito? Okay, so let's have an example. Example is the set of even numbers less than 13. So, this is well-defined. Okay, kasi ma-identify natin kung ano yung mga even numbers na less than 13. Okay, so... Uppercase letters o capital letters ang ginagamit natin para in-name ang set. Okay, in this example, let E be the set of even numbers less than 13. So, we have E and then we use the equal symbol and then ano ba yung mga even numbers? Okay, ang mga even numbers, those are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, and so on. So, yun yung mga even numbers. But, um, ang pipiliin lang natin is set of even numbers na less than 13. Ano-ano ba yung mga yun? Okay, iisa-isay natin kung ano ba yung mga even numbers na less than 13. Okay, so ito yung 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Okay, stop tayo sa 12 kasi less than 13 even numbers. Okay, and then enclose natin with braces. Okay, and then um, elements, ito yung mga... Nilagay natin, we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Yan yung mga elements ng set. Okay. So, next is uh, ways on how to write the element. So, meron tayong two ways. Okay. Ang first is listing or roster method. Okay. So, paano natin sinusulat ang listing or roster method Ang gagawin natin, ayan, we have the E, the equal symbol, enclosed with braces, and then, ililist lang natin kung ano yung mga elements. We have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, which is yan yung elements natin. And the second one is the rule method. Okay, sa so rule method, we have E equals X such that X even numbers less than 13, and then, i-enclose pa rin natin siya with the braces. Okay, paano ba ito basahin? Okay, the set of E contains the element X such that X are even numbers less than 13. So, that is how to read the rule method. Okay, so that is how to write the elements in two ways we have the listing or roster method and rule method okay next one is the cardinality the cardinality of a set e is the number of elements contained in e okay so we have the cardinality of a set e is written as n of e okay yung e na yan, capital e pwede natin mapalitan yan yan yung name ng set Depends kung ano yung name ng set. Okay, and then we have E equals, ayan, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. And the cardinality, the cardinality of set A is 6. Bibilangin lang natin kung ilan yung elements natin. Okay, so in this example, ang elements natin ay 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. So we have 6. Okay, so now let's move on. We have another number or example number 1. Set of positive numbers less than 6. 
Okay, let P be the name of the set. So, in listing or roster method, it is set P equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then, enclose natin ng braces. Okay, in rule method, we have the set P equals X such such that x positive numbers less than 6 in close ng braces. Okay, next, we have the cardinality. Ano yung cardinality ng set natin? The set of positive numbers less than 6. Okay, so the set P is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, bibilangin lang natin kung ilan yung elements natin. So the cardinality of the set P is equal to 5. Okay, isa pang example uli. We have where an example number 2. The set of all letters before letter G in an English alphabet. Okay, so to name the set, let L be the name of the set. Okay, in listing or roster method, we have the set L equals A, B, C, D, E, F. And then, enclose natin ng braces. While in rule method, we have the set L equals X such that X set of all letters before the letter G in an English alphabet. Okay, remember, lowercase letters will be used to refer to any element of a set. Ulitin natin, um, kapag name ng set, capital letters. Pero pag name ng element, small letters or lowercase letters. So, yun yung pagkakaiba ng pag name ng set at saka ng element. Okay, next, cardinality. Cardinality of the set of all letters before the letter G in an English alphabet. Okay, we have set L equals A, B, C, D, E, and F. Enclosed with braces. So, bibilangin lang natin kung ilan yung elements. The cardinality of set L is 6. Kasi 6 yung letters natin. A, B, C, D, E, F. Okay, so next, let's have number 3 example. In this example, we have the set of rainbow colors. To name the set, we have let R be the name of the set. Okay, in listing or roster method, set R equals red, green, Orange, yellow, blue, indigo, violet, and enclosed with braces. And the rule method is set R equals X such that X rainbow colors. So that is how to name the set of rainbow colors in listing and in rule method. Next, we have the cardinality. The cardinality of the set of rainbow colors, again, we have the set R equals red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Bibilangin lang natin kung ilan yung elements. Therefore, the set of R equals 7. Kasi meron tayong 7 colors in a rainbow colors. Okay, ngayon alam mo na kung paano mag-name ng set, kung paano mag-name ng elements in roster and rule method. Okay, pati ang cardinality. Okay, now, can you give me some examples of well-defined set? At least three. Okay, alam ko kayang-kaya mo yan. Okay, good luck. Okay, so let's have this one. Oh, let's have some activity. Let's try this one. Set of odd numbers divisible by 3 less than 23. So, that is well-defined set. Okay? So, let D be the name of the set. Okay? So, bukan natin tong sagutan. In listing or ro roster method, we have set D equals ano yung mga elements na nandiyan Okay? So, next, rule method. We have the set D equals... 
x such that x, ano yung kasunod? Ano ilalagay natin dyan? Okay, and then we have the last one, the what we call cardinality or the number of the set. Ilan ang number ng set or cardinality ng set? Okay, good luck. And try your best. So that's Okay, so that's all for now. Sana po nakatulong tong video na to sa inyo. Thank you for watching. Kung may comment po kayo, clarification, suggestions, and corrections, please comment lang po below sa my comment sections. Thank you! Okay, para po sa mga gusto pa po manood ng mga math video lessons, okay, so meron pa po mga uploads na nasa channel ko. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And this is my YouTube channel. Matish, thank you.